Good afternoon. Time to play some more. With Luxembourg, try to attempt, try to conquer the world. We're getting close, very close. Before starting streaming, I've reorganized my troops a bit. I have attached some divisions that were without a, a leader to the port suppression headquarter. That was pretty much it. I've also um, rerouted some divisions to ports. So that's, that's it. Let's continue. We'll have some more to do. This is not going very well over here. Let's wait for reinforcements. So Europe. Goods are going to Norway. Goods are going to the border with Norway in the Balkans. We also have US over here. So let's give this area. To this headquarter. They, when they get to their positions, I will reassign this much better. Hello from from Xerox. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. And Luxembourg is also doing fine. <laughs> so. That's that's great. We have some pilot that was promoted. Let's build more destroyers. We have plenty of convoy, so don't know how to build anything else. I think. Yep, just convoys or destroyers. It's going pretty swell. Soon infrastructure will be at 100%. The ports, all the ports will be at level 10 in Newfoundland. So we'll be able to launch um, an invasion of the US. From here. Okay, 
let's cross if we can. And uh, it, we can. to take Delhi. How are we doing over here? Quite well, we're nearing their capital. I sent all my troops to Europe. It seems I don't have enough to take this quickly. Can we win this? Nope. We'll stop it. Maybe reinforce these dudes to, to be to be able to keep the initiative. What are these guys doing? I seem to remember that I sent them to, to Asia. Singapore, why don't you go there? Let's wait for them to arrive at, um, at um, this naval base before giving them further orders. The US are, ke are keeping our lines, uh, defending our lines. It's annoying. To have so many divisions, so many foreign divisions inside our borders, but uh, I guess we can take advantage of it because these guys are actually protecting, protecting us. Anyway, let's send some dudes over there. Should I take Delhi? Or sh should I bomb it again? It's worth 15 VPs. I doubt it very much that it's gonna be enough to make them surrender. Yeah, let's take it. See how this goes. From Xerox is asking if I'm Axis or Allied, I'm none. I'm none.
Let's keep moving. As in my mo in most of my games, I'm unaligned. I'm I'm neutral. Okay, you guys stop it. And all of you go over there. Not having uh, pop-ups actually makes me play slower than if I had them. If I had them, I could play at speed 4 or even speed 5 and wait for the units to arrive, receive the pop-up, issue further orders, so now I'm forced to play at speed 2 just to keep even if only slightly some uh, effectiveness Stop it, these guys seem pretty strong Feel pretty strong It's on YouTube from, Z from Xerox, you can watch it on YouTube. You'll see how I did it. Can you please stop it? Thank you. going on over here this seems to be a VP in their capital they're very least a VP, but I think it's their capital. So let's move, make a move on that. Org, so we might be able to win. I'd love to destroy these dudes, but I don't have enough divisions. So I'm gonna try to take out these guys. Then move the divisions over here. Since we are about to take their capital, maybe that's that won't be needed. We'll see. Actually, sit tight.
Let's check their surrender progress, shall we? Free India, still only at 44% surrender progress. Guess I'm gonna have to nuke Delhi again. How's the unrest? It's going down pretty hard. Which is great. Let's wait for these guys to get to the next province. They take forever to move in these places, like literally forever. Before we attempt to engage these guys over here, maybe attempt to surround Delhi. Not sure. We won that fight, unsurprisingly. About to encircle some more Japanese divisions. The US seems to be making gains in China. Which is good. I just hope all of these guys go to China. Okay, let's make some arrows. Oops, wrong key. Let's do it again. Okay, I already have some arrows over there. Doesn't matter, I'll control this manually when the time comes. It's better, this is just very small pockets with no one over there. So no real need for... for... Um, battle plans. cannot do this because these guys don't have a front. Let's fix it. So you dudes are gonna go over here. And I want you to advance over there. Thanks a bunch. So now we can actually assign these reinforcements. These dudes don't have artillery. Let's fix it.
is a mess. I don't. I'm forced to have all these templates due to lack of uh, army points. Complete mess. Through it. Oops. Elite paratroopers, no. Hello Smike56, I'm fine, thank you. I hope you're doing well too. And um, yeah, welcome. It's a slow pro it's slow progress. Yes, it's slow progress. Mostly because of of um, what we're seeing here. The US sent a shit ton of divisions this way. So they're overloading the supply system or at least if I send my divisions over there I'll be overloading the supply system so they're inside my borders without my without my permission and because of the supply system I cannot fight Japan right now that's why the progress is slow another reason why the progress is slow is because I'm playing at a very low speed due to the lack of pop-ups to pause the game. And I cannot trust the AI, so I have to manage everything manually, personally. The progress is also slow due to lack of control groups. Due to lack of everything, pretty much everything needed to micromanage these as I used to micromanage it in, in Hearts of Iron 3. So I don't have control groups. The UI is in is not appropriate. The AI is dumb, so I cannot delegate on the AI because the AI is gonna derp. So with, due to the lack of all that stuff, I'm forced to play at very low speed to try to conquer the world before the end of the game, before 1948. I don't know if I'll make it, but at least I'm trying it. But yeah, the biggest reason why I haven't taken over Japan yet, over here, is this. The US is inside my borders, overloading my supply system, preventing me from fighting Japan. In India, I guess I could automate this. The worst part is, is gone. These are all planes. So even if the AI derps, and it will, that's the only thing that we can be sure it's gonna happen, is that AI is gonna derp. They shouldn't derp. I mean, because we have, um, because we have an advantage over them, numerical advantage, and because the, most of the terrain is now planes, the AI should be able to to do rel rel relatively well. Anyway, I need to fix this crap. So this is the first type of this was these were my one of my pirates at some point. It looks like I still have some of these somewhere. So Unless you don't care with the army reorganization, you don't care with any form of playing effectively, then this this is all great. It doesn't matter. If you play, if you care about playing effectively, then this is a nightmare. So port suppression, line infantry, this guy, this is interesting, some some artillery, no tanks. These are marines, so let's just keep them as marines. Line infantry, can I select? Something for this. 
I wish I could replace this by the symbol of infantry, even though I have no infantry here. Cavalry. Whatever. So I'm gonna keep the elite paratroopers, port suppression, line infantry. I think it's better to do this instead of names. Names. Um, tomorrow I won't remember what was the composition. This is much better. This is a division just for automation to give to the AI. I don't don't care about it. This was a division made for... Allow me to micro... 